Okay, in this lesson we're actually going to be talking about opening up a program, uh, working with uh, windows, moving and resizing those, and also uh, looking a little bit at uh, toolbars uh, and uh, menus on there as well. When starting a program, uh, you generally start from your desktop and there's actually a couple different ways that you can open up a program. Uh, one way that most people I tend to find out typically does this is that they will go to the start button and the start button actually contains uh, shortcuts to just about all of your programs that you have on there. When you click, uh, first of all, when you point to the uh, start button and then click on it, it actually brings up the start menu here. And just taking a quick look around this menu, uh, you'll notice that uh, up at the very top here, uh, there's a little line right here and then there's some programs. What these are, these are the pinned item list uh, on there. And these are programs uh, that are most commonly used like web browsing or email and you can actually add some to this uh, on there a lot of times if you just right click on uh, on there and you can say pin to list uh, on there and it will pin that up there and it will constantly be there these items are ones that I most commonly use and they're always there on the pin list item uh, on there uh, but those are uh, right at the top and you'll notice that that's where that little line is kind of dividing that uh, underneath that, you'll see that there is some more programs uh, on there, and these are the most uh, recently open programs. So uh, you can actually tell what I've been looking at and doing uh, the last little bit here on my computer by uh, seeing that these are the programs that I most commonly use uh, on there. Uh, they're really handy because, you know, especially the more you use a program, uh, the higher up it is on the list uh, on here. So you can take a look at that. Uh, underneath that is the all programs. So you you can click on this all programs uh, on there and actually this will give you a listing of all the programs that is there. Now by default when you get a computer uh, it has a lot of different accessories such as calculators, uh, Windows Photo Gallery, uh, and some other programs that's on there uh, and you can actually take a look at those um, on there and be able to uh, you know at least have some programs that you can actually work uh, with your computer. But as you get installing more programs, uh, those things will start populating the list down here to where you can actually access them. And these are all the different programs. They may be in folders or you know, have like little programs right here like for Windows Update. Uh, that's an accessory that's there or Windows Movie Maker is another accessory. Uh, but if you're not really for sure where you would like to look at uh, at this time period, you can also, down here there's a search uh, as well for search for programs and files. Uh, maybe I didn't find the calculator uh, on there. I can actually click on there, point to it, then click, and then I can actually type in, you know, start typing in calculator. And notice that there it is right up at the top for the programs. I can actually click on that and it will go ahead and launch that up uh, on there. Uh, in a, uh, that is where you're going to be uh, actually opening up most of your programs. However, you notice that we do have a little sidebar over here, and uh, this is actually into, uh, divided up into a couple different parts uh, on there where um, you can access your documents, and it has your user folders, which we'll talk about in a different lesson, uh, on there. And first of all, you'll notice that there's a little button up here, and this is your user account icon. Uh, usually you set that up when you have a user account. Uh, and then as we go on down through here, we see a few other little things. And uh, the very first top little part right here uh, uh, is uh, your important folders. Uh, by default, Windows will actually come up and uh, give you uh, a set of uh, folders, you know, for your documents, pictures, music, um, videos, and everything else. Uh, but uh, these are all links to uh, or buttons that you can actually click to get uh, to those different areas. If I click on the documents, notice the My Documents opens up or the Documents Library opens up on there. Uh, getting back to this, uh, of course, uh, there is a middle section here, which is this is just for the My Computer uh, on there or the computer uh, window. Uh, pretty much it's the same thing as double clicking uh, this icon right up here, the computer icon. And that opens up to where you can get access to your C drive, DVD drive, or any network drives uh, that you may have. Uh, also on here, this uh, is typically for more advanced users uh, on there, but these are the Windows tools, settings, and help uh, on there. Uh, they do have a, a control panel where you can uh, maintain your computer, find out some information about your computer. Uh, devices and printers, these are things that are hooked up to your computer. 
uh, default programs. You can actually, uh, in this case with uh, Windows uh, 7, you can actually choose what default programs you have for doing different tasks, such as, you know, what's your default web browser uh, on there as well. And another one which we'll take a look at here in a second is the help and support, and that is a really excellent tool uh, for using uh, on there. Uh, so let's uh, look at just an example of opening up a program here. Uh, if I want to open up a program from my pin list, let's just say for an example Google Chrome, I can just click on where it says Google Chrome and you know, a single click will get me into the program uh, on there. Uh, in my most recently used uh, programs, if I want to open up, let's say, Microsoft uh, Office 2007, uh, I can just click on that and then the program opens up. Uh, as I told you before, there's a couple different ways of opening up programs. Uh, that's one way of using the Start button. Another way is actually going here and finding the icon that you may have. And then you can just point your mouse uh, pointer to it and you can double click. And when you double click, that will actually open up the program for you. Uh, as well. Uh, so there's some different ways of opening up a program. Uh, you'll probably also notice on this start menu that there's one little area I didn't talk about and that is this down here and this is what we call the power and locks button uh, that we have uh, or as they call it in the textbook and which if you notice if I click on this little side or if I point to the little slide arrow uh, side arrow there that it actually gives me options for logging off, shutting down, locking the computer, sleeping and hibernating and uh, we'll take a look at a few of those things as uh, we get on there because actually uh, you know a lot of people uh, has questions about what is uh, sleep and hibernate and actually on there so you know really if you put your computer to sleep your computer really appears to be off and uses very little power uh, and then you can hit the power button and it comes back on uh, on there uh, if you lock your computer that is really just kind of setting it to where you have to input in your password again uh, to get back to your desktop. Uh, if someone else wants to use the computer, uh, they're going to have to have you unlock it first uh, on there, or they could just shut it down and uh, get to that uh, area where it's on there. Uh, hibernate is very uh, similar to uh, sleep, uh, just it takes it down to a low power state uh, on there, uh, even a little bit lower than what sleep has uh, on there. Uh, but let's take a look a little bit as well as just some windows. We've had some open up. Uh, on there, so let's just go ahead and open up um, on there. Uh, we'll open up the My Computer uh, on there. So we'll just open up this My Computer and we'll take a look at a few little things uh, on here. I'm also going to go ahead and open up uh, Word uh, 2007. And that's one great thing about computers because they multitask and they are allow you know, you can actually have uh, different programs up at the same time period. Uh, on there. And that's where you see that uh, as we learned in the last lesson about the uh, taskbar down here, uh, having all your open programs. Uh, a few little things that we'll take a look at on the uh, window when you have it there is, of course, down here at the bottom, it, it does have it on the uh, taskbar uh, on there. But when we take a look at our window here, there's a few things that we'll have to notice. And I'm going to go to uh, uh, Word uh, 2007 on here. Uh, the first thing we know is that most windows do have a title bar where it may give you the name of the window or gives you the name of the file and the program and that's the title bar. Uh, over here on the side, and I'll switch back to uh, the my computer for this, uh, there's a set of three uh, control buttons that's on here. Uh, you have one which is uh, most people call this the minus button, but uh, it's really the minimize button. And if I click on that, notice it sends it back down to the uh, taskbar. You can kind of see the little window close down. Uh, the next button that's on here actually is a two function button. Uh, if I point to it, notice it gives me the quick tip where it says maximize. If I click on that, it fills my entire uh, screen uh, with that, uh, all, except, all, all except with the exception of the uh, taskbar down here. But notice that but that middle button changed when I did that, and now if I point to it again, it says Restore Down. And that takes it back to uh, its original shape in which it came in uh, on there. Most times, uh, like programs like Microsoft Word will open up full screen. Uh, it's maximized. Uh, to get to be smaller, you're going to have to restore it down to a smaller shape. Uh, next on there, you'll notice that there is a Close button. Um, most people I've heard uh, call this the X button, or I'm going to X out of that program. Uh, but if you point to it, uh, it does specifically say that this is the close button uh, on there, and that actually closes down your window. Uh, a couple other little things that we're going to take a look at. Uh, of course, uh, when we deal with the resizing uh, windows and everything, uh, actually it's very easy. Uh, when a 
window is not, let me minimize uh, the word here, uh, when the window is not maximized, you can actually click and drag on the edges. And you notice my mouse pointer changed to a double-headed arrow. And that shows you that you can actually resize the screen. So you notice I can click and drag, and I can make this window larger or smaller. And I also can click in the corner, and you notice it turns diagonal. And that means I can make it bigger and smaller, uh, you know, wider and taller all at the same time period. I don't have to go, like, you know, drag it to the side, then drag it down. I can do that straight from the corner. So uh, that's dealing with uh, some resizing on there as well. Uh, the last little thing that we'll just take a quick look at uh, on here is dealing with uh, menus, toolbars, and keyboard shortcuts. Uh, menus are ultimately just a list of commands uh, that's there. Uh, whenever you open up different ones, like if I'm going to open up uh, uh, this uh, Windows Media Player, I may have uh, you know this menu up here, and this is the file menu. And you can take a look, and it gives me a list of uh, commands that I can choose, and that is our menus. Uh, and that completes task. Like if I want to click on exit, I can exit. And that was using the menu right there just to close down the um, media player that we had. Uh, a few other little things to kind of take a look at uh, when we're looking around. Uh, uh, in addition to menus, uh, we may have menu bars uh, on there. And menu bars are just a list of menus. Uh, of course, we'll talk about this a little bit more when we get into talking about the word window. Uh, but there's several different menus that are here. And, you know, that's just a listing of menus. Um, on there as well. It's usually located between the Windows title bar uh, and the work area that you have. Uh, some other things that you may uh, take a look at is uh, some toolbars uh, on here and actually that's pretty much what Microsoft Word has is a lot of toolbars and uh, like I said we'll talk about those in addition and it's usually a set of buttons where you can click to open up other menus or select commands uh, on there as well. Uh, one thing you have, which is, uh, it's kind of difficult to see on these videos, uh, is keyboard shortcuts. You can also use those as well, and that will do different things. Uh, if I would go to, uh, you know, some different menus, for an example, uh, so we'll click on the uh, office button here. You notice how uh, some of these letters have uh, an underline under it, uh, like for this open. And notice that there's, in parentheses, it has control plus O. And what that's saying is that's the keyboard shortcut. So if you are a fan of keyboard shortcuts, I can hit my control key and key um, on there, and uh, it will actually open up uh, a file uh, on there for me, or get to the uh, open menu uh, on there as well. So if I hit you know, control O here, uh, you can take a look, and there's my open uh, window that appears uh, on there. Uh, so that's just a little bit about um, some menus, toolbars, and shortcuts uh, in addition to uh, uh, the windows that uh, you're going to be using. So those are some of the basics that's on there. Uh, take some time, uh, look through uh, the textbook on there about uh, starting, program, uh, starting programs, uh, moving and resizing the windows uh, on there as well as using menus, toolbars, and keyboard shortcuts. Follow through some directions, uh, try what you see on the video here, and uh, if you have any questions just ask Mr. Irwin. We'll see you during the next video.